Okay, that is pretty nice. I'm just recording episode 155 and yeah, coming with 89 mining. So I do have a little mining goal. I would love to uh, get 92 mining so I can get those amethyst ores or whatever. That would make the uh, arrows that is basically between the power of rune and dragon arrows. Since dragon arrows are so hard to come by as an Iron Man, the amethyst arrows is definitely like the next best thing that I can mass, you know, craft. So that's great. Uh, three more levels to go for that. So I mentioned the uh, gargoyle boss before in the recent episodes and I uh, just got confirmation in one of the recent updates that the gargoyle boss will come out sometime between either late September or early October. So it's coming soon. And uh, right now what I should do in advance, you know, to prepare for it is obviously get a gargoyle test because if I'm not on task, I actually can't, you know, kill the boss. Might as well just get ahead and prep that. So I'm gonna go back to doing some Slayer until I get a gargoyle test and then, you know, we'll be good for the update when it comes out. Yo guys, do you miss Superior content? It's, it's a little nostalgic, you know? I haven't uh, gotten a Superior ever since the last time I got the Superior that gave me the imbue heart. So yeah, let's go, deja vu. Alright guys, it's about to be dead, not expecting anything crazy, of course. Uh, what? What the? Eternal gem? What? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, eternal gem. Yo, are you kidding me? That's basically back to back. Oh my god. The kill before this, superior, which was over a month ago in Bew Heart and the superior after it's a freaking eternal gem what <laughs> oh that's okay okay all right all right okay yeah that's cool you see if this came first now I, I would have been pretty sad but since I already have the imbue heart I don't really need anything else from superiors anyways, except for the Eternal Gem. I got everything. Every single um, a superior unique item. I, I have it now on this Iron Man. Cool. Not even mad at all. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta show you the Slayer Log just for a better reference. So, I'm at 187 superiors. And on 186, I got the Imbue Heart, which happened you know, over a month ago. And today... One of the really annoying things about totem pieces is that if you have the top, you're not going to be able to get any other totem pieces unless you, you know, turn the top into the totem. But what you can actually do is, if you didn't know already, you can drop whichever, you know, piece you got. Usually I just do the top, so uh, what that means is once you kill your superior, the one that's, you know, up and coming, you should be able to get a duplicate top, like I'll show you right now. Yep, you can get two of them. Alright guys, I'm about to make the freshest bling known to man, I mean, at least in RuneScape. And it is the Eternal uh, Slayer Ring. Wow. That's gonna be super swag, I mean, seriously. Look at that, Slayer Ring, parentheses, Eternal. Wait, I'm gonna examine this. A beautifully mounted Eternal Slayer Gem. Oh, I thought there would be some sort of, you know, pun or something for this. Because, you know, Jagex be doing that all the time. Uh, but. Yeah, I am going to be switching this out. Uh, I'm not going to be using regular servings anymore because I'm better than that now, you know? We don't need the second rate slayer rings no more. So I guess I'll just keep the, uh, you know, fully charged ones for backup. I don't know, maybe I need it or something. So I just got a small double task. I am trying my best actually to not skip tasks because I think I want to go on a little, you know, diversion while I'm looking for this gargoyle task for the future update and I landed on a small devil task so I think I'm actually gonna go and kill some small devil boss just because there has been some really interesting ways that people found you know to kill the small devil boss recently like last year you know people found ways to like say spot the boss but I don't think that's really that good anymore and uh, more recently you know people found like a way to kinda do the small devil boss in a more chill manner it does not use like your food and uh, yeah it's pretty chill so the idea is now that the small devil boss has been moved to south of castle wars there's a fairy ring nearby 
So the idea is you do one kill a trip. So every time you kill the boss, you go to your house, you recharge your stats and everything up at your house using the pool. And then you just use the fairy ring in your house and get right back into it. And that sounds really interesting. So I have Dragon Claws that I heard is actually uh, pretty fun to uh, do the small devil with those. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, have some fun and, and see what it's like. So now that I have the Inferno Cape, I should have theoretically the highest strength bonus possible on any character. So I'm interested to see what the Dragon Claw max hit is. Okay, just hit a 46 the first splat, so that means I'm hitting a 92 total per spec for a potential max on task. That's amazing. Gonna be using the Dragon Claws, of course, at the Smoke Devils. So I'm gonna be seeing some insane hits. One max D Claw spec, you know, I can almost get the boss down to half health. So just to let you guys know right now, so from this point on and also for future videos for a while, the audio is probably going to sound different and there might be a lot of noisy uh, disturbance in the background. Uh, that's just because I've moved into my dorm now, you know, school starting up already. So unfortunately, the audio can be scuffed at times, but this is, you know, the best that I can do. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to record elsewhere, you know, like I got to record here where I live in the dorm so I'm pretty sure it won't be that big of a problem for you guys you know once you get used to like this you know audio anyways yo very nice just got elite clue scroll from the small devil boss so I've been trying out you know this newer method and I gotta say it's pretty enjoyable very chill and yeah if you want to go watch the show or something you can definitely do this method helps a lot but it is slower kills an hour though for sure so if you're going for like fastest kill an hour use the normal method but anyways I just want to show you a, a price check of exactly 90 smoke uh, boss kills and that doesn't include any you know rare items like the smoke stab or anything so this is a pretty you know general amount of loot you can get in 90 kills and yeah let me take away the uh, nature runes and the fire runes and I should be uh, at the good price check right there 1.7 million 90 kills that's pretty nice I almost got 200 kills uh, this task so all I have to do is double that and get the task amount which probably is over 3 mil so it's really nice my recent like 10 plus master clues hasn't been anything interesting so this one unfortunately it's not that interesting either but I did make a crystal key and some alcohol so that's something I guess all right got a elite clue scroll I decided to do elite instead I'm just gonna open this up Let's see what we get here. Oh shit! Oh wow, that's actually a pretty cool reward. Sagacious Spectacles, man. Oops. Let me uh, price check this. It actually is like a mill, right? That's cool. Got a new item. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's pretty lit, but... I'm, I'm already 99 farming, but man, if I wasn't, yo. Double Magic Seed Nutsack Drop would, would make my day right there. Oh shit! I hit 2000 KC, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Yo, dude, I think that clip uh, with the double magic seed was supposed to be for 2000 Zora KC, but... Yeah, I'm gonna mention that now. It's pretty cool. I need to keep killing Zora anyways for more scales, so... Maybe I'll hit like 3k in the long future, who knows. Oh my god, what?! Oh, dude, you serious? Oh man, fucking hell, another dragon harpoon. I haven't gone a, a race drop in, in quite a few days. Holy shit. Well, that is the dream. The dragon collection is like straight up growing, dude. Let me look at this shit. How many har- oh, five. Six of these, five of these, you know, five of my claws. You know, the claws are cool, but yo, hey. I will welcome that, I guess. The Elder Maul feels really recent to me, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Alright, with this kill, I will have 1,000 Small Devil boss. That's pretty cool. Four-digit KC on another boss. I actually did not realize that I left this boss with like 800 KC for the longest time, so... So I teleported earlier before the uh, drop actually was visible for me. And yeah, it turned out I got an occult necklace on the kill before this. And yeah, I should have no problem pick up my stuff unless I DC or something, but yeah, I got it, no problem. 
So there is one other thing that I should do to fully prepare for this Gargoyle boss coming out sometime hopefully this month and that is to extend the Gargoyle task. I haven't done this before but I'm gonna do it now because I think it'll be worth it in terms of uh, trying to get that crystal you know for the best in self defense boots having a bigger task will definitely help for that. So I'm gonna be wrapping up today's video here guys I hope you guys enjoy today's episode uh, the Eternal Gem definitely took me by surprise and uh, school of course has started for me I'm almost a week into the school already and so far so good uh, nothing you know too overwhelming for me but otherwise in terms of video uploading and stuff I'm still not sure yet you know if I can really put out those consistent uploads uh, for this month but we'll see you know I'll keep you updated on that if there's any problems but anyways I am going to be maybe checking out some Fossil Island stuff. A lot of those updates aren't really too interesting for me to be honest because yeah they're kind of like mid-level stuff. Although maybe the lava mine and the wyverns can be interesting content I could check out so maybe you'll see some Fossil Island stuff next episode. But anyways if you want to keep in touch with the series if you haven't already feel free to subscribe but other than that I'll see you guys later with another video, hopefully within a week. Take care.